Hi, I'm Jesse with Metroline Direct. In this video, I'm going to be doing an overview of the Yealink CP965 conference phone. It's got a touchscreen, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. It's really a beautiful phone. So it's powered by standard 802.11 AF PoE. But if you don't have PoE on your switch, you can purchase a PoE power injector separately. The only thing I would say about the Wi-Fi is if you are planning on using this with Wi-Fi, just make sure you're able to place it within range of your Wi-Fi access point. And if you have too many devices on your network, that can affect voice quality, so just be aware of that. You can get this bundled with the wireless microphones that you see here, or you can purchase them separately. And the phone itself has 12 microphones built into it, so it's really good at picking up that conversation around the room. It's got a 20-foot range total for the phone, 10 feet in any direction. And then plus the wireless microphones give you another 10 feet. So for the best audio quality, you want to make sure that you're within that 10-foot range. Like I said, there's 12 microphones built into the phone, and then there's one microphone that's dedicated for noise canceling. Yaelin calls their noise canceling noise proof. This phone has Android 9.0 operating system. So if you're going to be adding phone numbers to the directory in here, you're already used to the menu. Just it looks pretty similar to adding contacts in an Android phone. It's pretty easy to do. You can do that right on the phone, or you can use a web browser, browse to the IP address of the phone, and program it there. Or you can go into the menu and put in your host to provider's server address, and then the phone can download its configuration. There's a USB a port on the side of the phone so you can use that to plug in the charger for the wireless microphones or you can plug in your cell phone if you want to charge your cell phone. The neat thing about these wireless mics is you can just drop them in the base and they'll just start charging. It doesn't matter what orientation they're in, just drop them in any way you want and they'll just start charging. Or you can plug in your flash drive if you want to record your phone calls and you can record them right to the flash drive and then take it with you. And there's a small door on the bottom of the phone which covers up your port for your Cat5 cable and right next to that is a USB-C port. Now you can put a screw in there and tighten it down if you want to, but it's not necessary. Just the door by itself held the cables in place just fine. And then you can plug into the USB-C port and connect that to your computer and use the phone as an audio device on your computer. You can also use the USB-C port connected to your computer to update the firmware on the phone. From time to time they come out with improvements and when you go ahead and upgrade the firmware on your phone you're going to get those improvements. Okay so let's see what Yaelink's noise proof noise cancelling technology can do. I'm going to do a test call here and I'm going to start up some some simulated background noise on my phone. So I'll go ahead and hit the DSS key on the bottom of the phone and hit my speed dial key. Okay, I've got my phone call going and I'll start up the background noise. Also, just to let you guys know, I did turn off the wireless microphones for this test. So we're just working with the, the main phone here by itself. All right, there's our background noise going. I also want to remind you guys that this phone will work with a variety of SIP-based hosted providers and SIP-based PBXs like IP Office and 3PBX. Did you know that Metroline was founded in 1988? That's right, 1988. Just to date myself a little bit, I was eight years old in 1988. So there you go. Time flies, doesn't it? That Yealink has three different noise cancelling options in the menu. When I was programming the phone, I, I was taking a look at those. Only one of those options is turned on by default. But when I was doing my testing, I found the best noise cancelling was when I had all three of those options turned on. So I went ahead and turned those options on. One last thing I wanted to add is you can add up to 10 callers on your conference call. If you need to go more than that, you'll want to use a conference bridge. And there's also an option where you can add a PSTN device, in other words, analog phone line device. Device. So if you're using that, you can have up to three calls conference together because that's the limitation of analog phone lines. And then there's also an option where you can do a uh, hybrid conference call. In other words, you can add in calls on your computer and calls on the phone using your SIP provider or SIP-based PBX that you're connected to. You can join those together in, in a conference call. So neat stuff going on there. I hope you guys liked the video. If so, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos from us, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notified when we release more videos. Thanks for watching.